It's Danielle with special guest, Cousin It. <laughs> it's Melina. <laughs> that was awesome. I felt like the girl from The Ring for a second, like. <laughs> when you die, you see the ring. Okay, sorry. I took it to a very dark place. It's Saturday, and this is a Saturday shorty. Hey, shorty. It's Melina. Hey, shorty. It's Danielle. <laughs> so I brought a special guest with me today, um, or she came, I don't know, because I'm in her house. Um, I might. I invited myself. <laughs> and for those of you who don't know, um, she is my bit one of my business besties, and I'm spending the week with weekend with her. She can't do a whole week with me; <laughs> she'll go crazy. Um, but we wanted to come on here because um, we're on Memorial Day weekend, so that means that the hi uh, that means that the J months are coming. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. And everyone's like, oh, J months, I barely can sell a cent on J months, or they're always the worst, and it's a J month. And I want to tell you that my J months always typically rock like hundreds of dollars over my average like months. So yeah. I don't think they really stink. My June of last year was $2,000. My high, That was my highest June ever. And I'm um, I'm turning 35 next month in June, and I'm celebrating the whole month long. And I plan to have an even bigger June than I've ever had before. So J months do not have to suck. Nope. So we're here to give you tips on you finger guns. Oh my god, we are stupid. This is, <laughs> this is why pigs like. Pixie Bear probably should never put us together in the like, in real world because this is how we act all the time. Anyways, so we're here to tell you um, some great tips on how to have an amazing day. By the way, where am I supposed to be looking? Right there where the green oh, is. Oh, but that's weird. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you can't look at yourself. I like looking at myself. It's, I'm pretty. When you look at yourself, it's, it looks like you're looking past the people. But if you look... Yeah, you don't have to look at them because they're not looking at you. I mean, they're looking at you, but look at the camera. Or on Melina's uh, computer. Yes, yeah, just why. look at the camera. I like myself, though. I'm pretty. I Yes, I agree. I am also pretty. And we can look at ourselves when we watch the replay. Okay. All right, so let's talk. Okay, so tip number one, and this is, honest to goodness, probably my best tip to tell everybody. It is to have a mystery host party. And... I personally am a huge advocate and believer of mystery host parties. Um, this is where you encourage people to have sales, like to, to buy something. I mean, obviously you always want someone to buy. You create a party under a mystery host and then say Melina comes in and buys like five jars of sprinkles. Oh, I would get six so I could get free shipping. Because I'm smart. She upsells herself, too. <laughs> um, you would then go ahead and put that in the mystery host party. And every time that mystery host hits that next level or is really close to that next level, you screenshot, like, those rewards, and you tell people, look, we're so close. And then more people buy it. And I swear there's people who literally, like, buy a jar. They'll spend $8 on shipping, and they'll buy a jar for a chance at, like, all those free and half-off items. Um, so mystery host party is definitely one to make sure you do. Um, I always offer it in the beginning of July. Um, I try to have it end prior to like July 15th because normally mm -hmm. there's something that happens around then. Um, I talk on my hands. I do. <laughs> I just like, you were just like either, either open in pickle jars or. Shaking the maracas. Anyways, um, so something normally happens around July 15th, most most months, uh, most years, I guess to say that I've been with Pink Zebra. And so... I'm thinking about what you're talking about. You know. Yes. Okay. So I normally try to... <laughs> <laughs> I try to keep it a surprise. Right. But anyways, so I try to have that That's mystery host like party, and that way um, everyone has a chance. And this is great, too, because I have a lot of people who will never have a party for me, ever, ever. 
But every time I have a mystery host party, you better believe they are buying Pink Zebra from me because they want a chance at that host rewards. So but if I say, hey, you want to have a party? They're like, no. And normally I always follow up. Those people have the mystery host party say, hey, listen, you didn't win, but you don't have a party in like the next catalog and half the time. They either say yes or no. Well, yeah, yeah, all the time. 50, 50, 50, 50 all the time. All the time. They say yes, yes or they no. say no. But yeah. all the time. No. All right, you want to the next one? No. Okay. Fine. It's not a topic that um that I typically. Okay. So well, then this, this will be my time. This will be my topic. I can chime in a little. So if you guys are like Melina and have a ton okay, of stuff that, that we already discussed, a lot of that is stuff going out the door. I'm waiting for payment. So my house looks like this with a lot of stuff behind me. Um, with a lot of inventory because. I gain inventory throughout the year. Like I have no clue how I do it, but somehow I just get so much free and half off stuff from Pink Zebra throughout the year that I have an abundance of it. So it's always great to um, do an inventory reduction sale. I normally do mine in like June um, because I do before they get the discontinued list. Um, but this is nice because then I sit there and I save that money. And then this is what helps me like stock up on the new stuff and new shades and whatnot in the new catalog. So it doesn't help with your SV right now, but get some stuff out of your house. Mm -hmm. So then you can get stuff in the future. All right. This one I know you can talk about. Okay. So the next idea is like grab bags and mystery bags. And um, with those, you'll just pick a price point that you're going to sell your bags for. And sometimes people do maybe multiple price points for people to choose from. Um, a girl on my team named Jessica has had a lot of success with $35 grab bags. And basically she collects the payment and what comes in the bag is essentially a mystery. The folks are not getting to pick what they get, but she looks back at their past purchases if they've ordered from her before and based on things she knows they've bought in the past she tries to pick things that she thinks that they will enjoy with those items or you know instead of if it's been a while um so that's just a really like fun you know kind of like suspenseful way <laughs> to sell some items and you could potentially get some customers who've never tried pink zebra before just because they're like okay I got $35. I want a mystery bag. Like I know for me, um, a couple times throughout the year, I'll get a surprise box from Erin Condren, which is the planner company that I buy my planner from. And I think their summer ones getting ready to go on, like be released this week. So I'm thinking I'm going to buy one and I have no idea what's going to be in it. And that's like part of the fun, not knowing, but it's always really cool stuff. People love those boxes. Mm -hmm. Like people love mystery boxes. Yes, yeah, for, for sure. sure. For sure. Um, another way you could do is PZ cash. So it's like Kohl's cash or if you shop in New York company, they have like city cash where if they order or buy like $50 worth of items between June 1st and uh, July 15th, they get a like five dollars, you know, PZ cash where they can use on the new catalog. So that's something that you would, you know, take, but that's obviously tax right off, like that five dollars. But a lot of people really have success and they make little cute images of like little dollar bills and they um oh you looks look really pretty now. Thank you. <laughs> I felt like something was missing. Apologies. Um, anyways, so like they take that and they use it for future uses, and people love that. Um, I use them. I actually do my PZ Cash tied to my inventory sale, so they're getting rid of my inventory, and then they have a PZ Cash for the future catalog. That's where I use mine, but some people use it towards just specifically Facebook or online sales or whatever. Um, Get your party to go bags, catalog bags up and ready to go. This is great. Make sure you're carrying them with you. Um, if you're one of those busy moms or busy peeps in general 
who are at baseball games or at picnics. I mean, you guys are all going to be at a picnic on Monday for the most part, except for me. Sorry, I um, so much. I apologize. <laughs> that you guys will be utilize those bags, carry those party to goals with you, those catalogs with you, because you never know. And obviously, this is also good for if you know you have a customer who's. I always like I'm putting you like you're my customer. If you have a customer who's really busy, right? You want her to take, like, she's like, I'm so busy. I want to have a party, but it's baseball season. It's baseball season right now. That's why I'm saying that so much. It's baseball season, and I'm just at the baseball games all the time. Well, take a bag with you, lady. And while you're sitting there and they're in the dugout and doing nothing, like, take the bag because there's like, or a rain delay. Heck, like, sit there and walk around that bag with people. Um, so definitely do that. <laughs> you want to talk about the next one or you want? I think you should. <laughs> I just wanted her to talk, but uh, I really want to talk about the last one. Okay, she's sure. she's definitely the last one. Okay, so try ten parties a month, and you're like, you know, I'm trying for like ten parties a month already, and why are you telling me June and July are different? Overbook yourself, especially in June and July. The reason I'm telling you this, and I think I've been looking at myself still the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> the, re wow. the replay will tell us everything we need to know. Anyway, I'm just going to stare at myself the whole rest of the video. Hang on, Lena. <laughs> Anyways, so book, overbook yourself in June and July. The reason we tell you guys to do this is because this is the season that people do cancel more. They... It is not because of weather or because of colds, which people think more happen in like the fall, winter months. It's more because they just are like, oh, well, so-and-so's on vacation and so-and-so's on this and so-and-so's on. Oh, she's laughing at us. <laughs> oh, I can't, Glory V, I can't, I have never pronounced her name right. That sounds exactly like Glory V. Her. Am I saying your name right? I mean, it's either Glory V or Glory V, which could be her name, but I think it's highly unlikely it's Glory V. Glory V. Glory V. Oh, now we have more laughs. <laughs> oh, gosh. So, anyways. Um, <laughs> anyway, so what I was going to say was, um, where was I? Oh, the 10 parties. So, people, I swear they have more excuses in... Okay, good. All right, they have more excuses in the June and July months on to cancel parties. I don't know why, but heck, if you book 10 parties and they all happen, well, geez Louise, you're going to be like, J months don't suck you. It's going to be like, yeah. these are the best ones of my life. Like, I make all the money in J months. So, yeah. and then if you book 10 parties, and then you book 10, like, so basically, essentially, you book 20 parties. Then if they all convince them to all have a party in, like, September, October, November, like, there's 20 parties right there. Let alone if you book a party and you get two parties booked from a party. Boom. Boom. Set you up for the fall as well. Boom. Um, an old new party is oh, also. Someone gave us an oh, face. Yeah. I think it was an accident. I always assume that's an accident. No one's mad at us. Unless someone was offended by my pin mustache. Anyways. I think I look cute. Uh, old new parties. These are like, yeah. So this so is like, like last chance, first glance. Exactly. So that's what she calls them. Yep. Um, and it's basically like when you have them, like July 15th, when they tell us a discontinue list, you get people really excited, really hyped up for all the items and everything along those lines. And then boom, the new catalog comes and they have a chance to get the new catalog as well. Um, and again, sometimes ties into a mystery holes party as well, but this is also a nice little thing to have, um, to go about. Um, oh, so I chose, what did I write? What was my note? So I do anybody who orders in July, in general, the full, 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 full month of July. So it doesn't matter if it's a new catalog or catalog item. If they order in the month of July, they have an opportunity to get a jar of sprinkles for a year for free from me. Like, wait, 
One jar every month. One jar every month. One jar a month oh, for a year. I do that. Yep. I do. I call it free sprinkles for a year, and I draw it. I do mine in December. I do mine in July because I do. I keep on a fiscal year. It's I like, like it. I don't do everything fiscally year with pink zebra, but this is one thing I do. I like it. I like it. Yeah, it's fun. I so and I'm excited I about it. I just get them um, because I get. I'm in club pink. I'm. This is my club pink card. The club pink card. <laughs> I'm in club pink. So I just take my jar that they get, they win, and from Club Pink. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, they don't get a pick. They just automatically get a Club Pink jar. I like it. I like it. I like so, it. So, and because I never, I before, I was like, after I gave out my samples, I still had like about a jar and a half to two jars full of sprinkles. Um, Sorry, to my I need a nap. You can go up and have a nap with Miranda. I might have to. Gosh. Mm -hmm. I've, yawned, I've yawned so many times. You are not boring me. I'm just tired. Anyways. So um, so I take that. And now I have less club pink. And like, a little bit of left I have is normally for me to like utilize personally. I just feel like it's less wasteful. And then obviously it is a tax write-off for me. I put it by putting the mail or whatnot. It is a tax write-off, which is really nice. Um, my person who won last time was local so she just kind of gets hers almost with all of her local orders in the long run because she orders almost every month anyways but um yep just gets shipped out right after them and then Molina for the last one so the last tip right yeah tip is um customer follow-up so if you don't have a customer follow-up system yet it's not too late <laughs> you can still um implement one and I'll just be really brief on that because this is supposed to be a shorty and it feels like a longie. We're on 15 minutes because we've been laughing for yeah. a while. Yeah. So, um, so I think the majority of people follow the two plus two plus two system, which is two days, two weeks, two months in their follow up. And for me, that two day follow up is kind of um, like if they order on my website and I'm not the one placing the order for them within two days, typically like right away, I either text them or send them a you know message or an email thanking them for their order, but then I like to send a thank you card, especially if it's a new consultant, but um, every couple of customer orders, I send a thank you card for my current customers too. So that's that. The two week follow up is them having received their items, making sure that they, you know, have had a chance to open everything, don't have any questions, have they, you know, sniffed their scents, and is everything good there? And then that two-month follow-up is the, hey, you are probably running out of stuff, so do you want to sniff some new scents? I, I say sniff. Do you say sniff? Um, I say sniff. I say smell. Oh, I say sniff. It's this one. Yeah, it is fun. Um, so yeah, so that's like kind of your reorder follow-up. So that's the system that I follow, and I am paperless in my follow-up system. So I'm right now I'm using Evernote, um, which you guys can totally Google and watch YouTube videos about. Um, but I, I'm in the process. I'm contemplating switching to um, Trello, and you can I've watch. Heard good yeah, you can watch a video on that too. Um, but some people do a paper system, and that could be you know, using your planner to remind you when to follow up with people. That's the big thing for me. That's why I had to go paperless because I needed a really good reminder system. Um, but you can get, you know, a Rolodex or, um, you know, an index card box. And, and there's a lot of different ways you can do it. But customer follow-up is super important all the time. But I would say specifically over the summer um, when you may not have as many things on your calendar. You know, it just happens sometimes. And if you are going to be doing those mystery host parties or grab bags, you know, you're going to be checking in with customers anyways. Don't just rely on a social media post to generate income for you. You want to do that outreach um, to your customers to get that business from them. That is true. That is what I want. To Definitely say. do not yeah. just rely on social media. We love social media, but you know, this girl could talk about it for days. I probably could. I won't, but I could. I love social media, but you do have to still like talk to people. Mm -hmm. It's true. Yeah, it's true. So true. 
All right. Well, we did run along, but you guys got a great enjoyment. So have a great Saturday and a long weekend. Bye. Bye.